three minute opportunity to uh, talk a little bit about black history and uh, our heritage moment. Uh, but what I want to talk about is briefly, I want to share uh, the black presence in the Bible. We know that people of color has made renowned and phenomenal impact in our society, even in our world. In our past Black History Moments right here at St. Julia, we have heard some of, of those great names. But today I would like to share with you uh, the black presence in the Bible. To me, it really doesn't matter what color Jesus is. Uh, however, it's always good to be able to relate with somebody, no matter where you go or where you are, when you can feel a kindredness with someone. I've worked in offices. I, I was, uh, had opportunity to spend uh, uh, 14 days in Argentina on a missionary journey. And uh, I look around, I didn't see anyone that looked like me. Everybody thought, a lot, many of the folks thought I was a rapper or they thought I was Michael Jordan. <laughs> but that, that's the way they related to me because simply the skin of my color. So, uh, but uh, I remember when Barack Obama received the nomination for the President of the United States. Because of his color, I felt a kindredness, I felt a sense of pride and a sense of family because as I followed him, I heard him speak and many of the things that he spoke about during his journey to the presidency, uh, it related to me. I felt, you know, that he could relate to me and that was important for me. In Psalm 68, 31, the Bible says, princesses shall come out of Egypt, Ethiopians, shall soon, shall soon strength, stretch out her hands unto God. We can see the black presence in Act 26, where in Philip the evangelist was led by the Spirit of God to an Ethiopian eunuch that was reading the scripture out of Isaiah, trying to get an understanding. But the Spirit of God led Philip over to him and he asked him, did he understand what he was reading? And the man said, how can I understand? The eunuch said, how can I understand? So Philip, the Bible says, Philip began to minister the good news, the gospel of Jesus Christ. And the man received Christ. And later on down the road, he was baptized. So many times it's difficult to see the black presence in the Bible because you won't see or you won't read the term black or African, but you will see the term Ethiopian, Kushite, Egyptian, Hebrew, or other tribal terms. Another young lady in the Bible was uh, Zipporah, which was Moses' wife, a beautiful black woman, and has six other sisters. Uh, her father was a black man named Jethro, and he was a, uh, a shepherd and a, a priest of Median. Research of Bible research describes the Cushite and the Mediate women was known for their beautiful, exceeding black skin. Another person of the Bible that I tend to relate with, uh, you can read in John 19, 17, that uh, Jesus initially bore his own cross, but it was commonly held that the soldiers, because uh, they feared that Jesus would not be able to make it up the hill because he was beat so bad. And to get to Golgotha, you had to go up the hill. So the Roman soldiers looked to the left and they looked to the right and they saw a big black man. And the Bible, and they laid that cross on that black man. And Luke 23, 6 said that they laid, led him Jesus, the Nazarene, and after laying the cross on him, Simon, they made him carry it behind Jesus. So my three minutes is up, but I did want to say this one last thing. Again, it doesn't matter what color some say or depict what Jesus looked like, but all I know that he brought me out of the heart of the Out of the mind and clay. And he set my foot 
my feet upon a rock. And he put a new song in my heart. And I thank God for that. And I know that the Spirit of the Lord is already in this place. And the Spirit of the Lord is already moving in this place. It was this same environment. The church. Yeah, yeah. The church. September 14th, 1989. That same spirit moved me to get out of my seat. Go ahead now. And turn my will over to God's will. And since then, my life has been changed. My life has been transformed. Yes, sir. But guess what? I've always, I always, I have always been blessed since that day. Mentally, physically, and thank God, even financially. And I thank God for that. Thank you for this opportunity. Amen. And God bless you all.